All right, a little good one. Oh, let's uh, go on. And this and the this. There it is. Now, uh, whoop. Oh, dear, there we go. Get the cam. I get the camera. All right. There it goes. Okay. Done. Oh, right. get the water. See more uh, one guy after. Ah, let me start the chat. Come on. Come on. Let me fix that. Fix the one on this laptop, though. But it'd be working. And water. I'm gonna want to after then. I will continue. Get the the roguelike stuff going too. Huh? And so my character is upgrade materials for for XP and upgrade materials rather for characters though. I don't even want to open balcony today. Kind of fresh, kind of fresh. The tiles already pulled from my feet here. Already. Alright, chat's still loading. So that top is something. Eh? Is something. Eh? It's like when it's still loading here. Oh, whoop. Uh -huh. Let's see. There we go. The soldier is still low. How are we doing? Uh, what are you doing? There we go. Um, I missed the post open by again. Yeah. Classic, classic. Is everyone excited? Tomorrow, everyone gonna be playing Red Full. Boom. From the beautiful release and Jedi Survivor into the Red Full. <clears throat> what a time. Yeah, what a time to be alive. And we'll see. I hope it will surprise everyone. full when they start really yeah and maybe someone finished it already mm 
Maybe someone is already done. The actual shooting feels nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be smooth and everything. The weapon, like in the trailers that they showed, seemed kind of like, I don't know, uninspired, you know, like way too like basic. It's like show any any shooter and you won't see the difference with weapons basically like i don't know like there's like this kind of like style that gives you this vibe of some sort of like uh some like the crossfire or something like crossfire i guess is like old already and stuff like some some sort of like this like low effort uh, free to play multiplayer you know modern military shooter i guess let's put it that way like the same look of the weapons, the same, you know, kind of like mechanics and everything, the same animations of sorts. I mean, even a realistic one, I feel you can kind of make like more interesting, I guess. Like it's, it's vampires already and stuff, right? So you don't need to like stick to completely realistic stuff. Wake come up with some like you know I don't know like fucking uh, like the, the 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 stake gun right for vampires some revolver with silver bullets and stuff like this I don't know it's also not like super unique and stuff but a little a little different from your average thing. Fucking garlic grenade launcher. Well, I mean, they have skills for that, I guess. They have, like, character skills for some cool stuff, but, like, the weapons... Pretty sure that's what's gonna be doing the most of the work. Shooting them weapons, anyway. Especially if they kind of go for that, like, looting shooting stuff there, too, seems like. Which actually might be, like, with, with co-op and with, like, with good loot system, I think he might be actually kind of good. Eh? If you want to play with friends and like also on Game Pass and stuff, then that might be actually solid. But yeah, like if it's also like looting, shooting, then you kind of want to get some cool weapons. <clears throat> Not the CSGO skins. Huh? We will see though, we will see though. Maybe actually later weapons that you acquire will be looking cool and everything. That might also be the case there. Maybe you just kind of start with all those basic uninspired things and then later you get some cool stuff. Some like rares, legendaries. Uh, That'll be fine. But yeah, we're about to find out. And then like reviews dropped already or something, and it's gonna be like the release date reviews basically, which is kind of sus if that's the case. Yes, <laughs> these were right. Well, I mean, a lot of fights also kind of, like, depends. Eh? The same was with uh, High on Life, right? Remember when we saw, like, the first trailer, the, the trailer with the, the fight and the, this barrel with the bug lady? That looked kind of meh on trailer, but when you play it, actually, I mean, maybe they tuned it after the trailer a bit to make it a bit more fast or something. It was all right. Are reviews today dropping? Let's see. Can't wait. 9 out of 10. Very pog. But... The AI done doesn't do anything. 
Well, I feel they kind of what we're going for this, like the looting, shooting stuff, right? So AI is supposed to be just like the loot, the loot horde eh? that you need to dispatch. Dispose of and collect oh, very fast. Yes, he's there, I see. Well, the proper boss fights and stuff, you kind of do need, yeah. Well, yeah, it kind of depends on uh, how it's made. Uh, but something you totally need, yeah. Something you will need in the end. Uh. All right. Yeah, that look. Start this up for a no. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, what do we have? Um, no, there is already there is already the, the mod for Star Wars Jedi Survivor that improves performance. Name son. Learning from the best. Learning from the best. <laughs> That's how you get away with broken stuff. The DLSS mod. Oh, it has DLSS 3. Well, I mean, not everyone has that, though. Sadly, not everyone has that. DLSS 3. No, them so Star Wars Jedi Survivor takes a number one in sales, eh? but sales down on its predecessor. Huh. And the first game sold better, what? It's box charts though. I mean since then, you know, things kinda moved to uh, the digital way more. Do it so do it. You need to evolve it. You need to do the quest. So it ascends. Eh? Minecraft Legends went from the second spot to the eighth spot. Feels bad, so it feels bad. I think you need to teach it some manners. The very unruly GPU you have there. And it refuses your requests. And you can download the mod, yeah. Exactly. You know it. The head of PlayStation Studios, Herman Hulst, uh, said uh, that uh, the, the life service games that company is making will have different genres and uh, different scales. Eh? And they're uh, made for different audiences. Well, I mean, that makes sense. If you make 10 of them, you don't want to 
You don't want your games to cannibalize the audience of each other. That would be probably not very smart to do there. Let's be real. Let's be real. The Mario movie is already over one billion dollars. Insane. It's probably what Mario game makes like in the weekend or something. I would way less budget too. The big third person still shooter, yeah. According to rumors, the authors of Callista Protocol are working on the Guardian of the Galaxy game. The game is not connected with the adventure, 2021 adventure. It's going to be centered around some specific character. The Callista Protocol authors. It's an interesting choice, all right. 60 minutes of Redfall gameplay uploaded online. It's already starting. Already starting. Oh, there's some sort of a uh, soft lock bug yeah, in Jedi Survivor. And one of the planets need to save a little more often. I'll see how it is. Classic. Yesterday, Don't Starve Together got new record eh, with Peak Online, over 90, 96,000 people playing. Damn son. Well, they got like some super discount there for it, so seems good. Eh? simulated to prologue we'll see we'll see you know first look friday for now is kind of like you know open the relay like i had some keys sent to me nothing really like caught my attention that much yet so we'll see i'm kind of on hope you maybe uh, with age of wonders we'll see though The paradox still hasn't noticed me, and I think they probably have their own influencer management management branch to contact. So and they did not notice yet. From what I know, from what I know. Looks good. Feels good, man. All right, let's go. <clears throat> now, the review codes for Redfall were sent out four days before release. Some started to change their plans, and some admitted that they are not going to make it in time for the release. Damn, son. And I mean, then, you know, people will be like, gaming journalists, uh, you know, people love. <clears throat> you get like key like four days before release. Eh? And you need to kind of, well, to be honest, like depending on the game. Depending on the game, but also depending on other plans. Eh? If you have like multiple reviews and stuff going, that might be a bit more complicated. ESRB rated the uh, Tomb Raider collection on Switch. The ones announced in 2021. Guardian of Light and uh, Temple of Osiris. All right.
Damn it, son, there's new, there's new video from Bloodborne card already. So we got Gascoin, and now we got Maria already. They go ham, dude. Eh? Digital Foundry said that they shouldn't even release uh, that was Jedi Survivor in this in this state on PC. A voice release of 2023, brother. We still have we still have seven months ahead. I'm pretty sure someone will will ask Jedi Survivor to hold their beer. I wouldn't be surprised. Eh? Damn, GTA 4 was 15 years ago. Insane. Was it? I guess actually it could be, yeah. I remember. My friend brought, uh, brought Xbox 360 <coughs> to my place because parents left. So I got a bunch of people, a bunch of beer to play some in GTA 4. And then, yeah, then we put the Xbox vertically and while trying to connect it to the TV from behind, I accidentally tipped it over and the disc was ripped. <coughs> so I went to buy another one. Back then, they, they didn't cost a fortune. Thankfully, it still was painful though. Four and five that close together. The five is like what? Ten years, I guess, already at this point. Like fifteen years ago. Uh, and when was uh, when was the five? Huh? They were kind of close though. I mean, four kind of didn't really. Uh, you know, do I feel that crazy well for their standards, probably, like, at least for some reason, 4 is considered kind of, like, one of the weakest ones, probably, well, except maybe for, like, the old ones, right? I'm not sure people usually don't take into account, like, 1 and 2, 1 I haven't even played. 3 is also usually kind of forgotten. I played that one, but I never finished that one. And then people kind of don't like 4, so maybe they just kind of, like, you know, Weekly switched over and then, you know, five stuck around with the, with the online and everything and, you know, here we go. <laughs> here we go, stuck with it for a while now. Yes, you know, which one? The the Blood Court? Or is it the, the Il Mo one? Il Mo one was kind of like, eh. The Blood one was something. So there's advice to this, see, not the Crimson Curse, I see. Analytics uh, say uh, that uh, Sony has issues with selling games for PS5. Because the console owners don't want to buy them. Well, what a twist, man. <clears throat> Imagine having good games. Oh, yeah, Crocodile, huh? And the Blood Supply. Blood Supply, I actually don't remember already. Crocodile Boss, I remember. It's like with those bushes, right? I remember that. The Blood Supply, I already kind of forgot. To do with them being 80 bucks, yeah? The rule. I mean, that, that, at this point, people probably don't even buy stuff without sales that much anymore. And I said, like, I only like, I haven't bought like stuff on release, especially since for since Doom Eternal. That was last time. And even in general, not on release. After that, I bought like very few games. 
Actually, I guess Loop Hero was later, right? I think Loop Hero wasn't released, but you know, that was in the indie game, so. And uh, that's pretty much kind of it. That was like some small games on sale basically since then. And like, no, not on release for sure. Without sales, I ain't buying, man. I ain't buying. Since release, Minecraft Legends got 3 million players. Eh? Well, that's the Game Pass power, probably quite, quite the big part there. I see, so I see. Now, the only case for me would be if I would be like super hyped for something, but there is like not a lot of things I would be super hyped for. I can actually maybe get Armored Core, but actually not because I even like super hyped for it or something, but because for now the price is reasonable and I'm pretty sure they're gonna up it like they did with Elden Ring. Because right now <clears throat> the price is the same as Elden Ring before they increase the price. So Elden Ring was like 2400 and this is 2400 and then like a week after release or something they already made it like 4000 here and yeah, then I'm not buying. Stalker 2, uh, Game Pass, he's gonna play it on Game Pass, Starfield, Game Pass, like so many things I'm gonna just get on Game Pass. And more expensive after weeks, yeah, like a week or so and it was uh, already, what is that logic, regional price? <laughs> Miyazaki just like, you know, decided that we don't deserve having the regional pricing here anymore for Elden Ring, I guess, or we, we deserve way worse regional pricing and they just increase it. But Armored Core for now is reasonably priced though, so we'll see. I, I feel like the the From and Bandai, they just kind of like saw that, you know, Elden Ring was in the end of February, right? So when all the shit fest was starting, our currency was like plummeting and stuff. So they probably were like, all right, you know, let's increase the price. Like their currency is dropping, let's increase the price. And then currency kind of stabilized, but... They don't want to decrease the price anymore, right? Because people who bought it more expensive will be kind of mad. So they just kind of like left it as it is. In Armor Core, they already started with like solid price. Oh, yeah, Stalker 2 on Game Pass. That's it. If it's not on Game Pass for some reason, well, I mean, it is, right? But if, if, if it wouldn't be, I also probably wouldn't play it on release anyway. <clears throat> like, it's, 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 like something I'm interested in, but I don't really like care that much. Like there's literally legit like not a lot of games left probably that I kind of care as much. The only one probably would be like new Fallout. That I probably would play on release most likely. Maybe even would try to get collector's edition if possible. Game plus uh, price in Russia, same as everywhere. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yes, he's too, I see. And yeah, that's why I'm also not in the rush, because first of all, releases ended up being garbage, right? Like, with, with, with Jedi Survivor. That could be actually, if it would be available here, right? That could be something I maybe would consider to buy, because I kind of like the previous one. But, well, good thing it's not available and I can, because with, with this shit, I'd just rather wait and get it, like, with, like, 50 or more percent discount, probably, like, in a year or half a year. Or actually it will become part of EA Play and EA Play is part of a Game Pass and you just still play it in like half a year or something on Game Pass. So, you know, why? Why even bother buying? So, yeah, like nowadays I... Like unless I want to play something like here and now, really want to play it, I'm just gonna wait. It's gonna be on sale very soon or it's gonna be on Game Pass or it's gonna be free on Epic Store. And uh, yeah, the discounts are also starting pretty fast nowadays, so there's kind of no point really. And there's so much to play that, you know, there's never an issue really to, you know, to kind of find something to play and something to do. And worst case, again, there is all these like live services, right? Like, just hoping, like, I can always, like, you know, re download like Fallout 76 for some new updates or something. Enjoy that for a few weeks easily. Yes, see, I see. 
I mean, I wouldn't say it's like it's that much of a souls like. I think it's kind of like, it, like at least the first game was like hitting good. It had like this like kind of like combat that was somewhat you know like giving you that feel of like challenge from like souls games, but it also had like way better you know like traversal, way better exploration, and then like the gameplay was really smooth and nice. And I mean, I'm not a huge like super fan of Star Wars, but I kind of like it. So like I'm not super knowledgeable or something into it, but. I like the general setting, so I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed the first one a lot, so I was kind of like looking forward to the second, but it's not available because of all the shit fest. Turned out that was a good thing, actually, that it's not available. Save them. Save them. And now I'm just gonna probably wait until some game pass, and that's it. The others of Genshin Impact posted new a trailer for new characters from Genshin Impact. I feel like they should probably like take a little break <coughs> with Genshin, let the hype around like the Hawkeye to calm down a bit. But I feel like they actually kind of managed to like separate the audiences quite well though. They're hitting like you know different different groups of players that way. The skill kind of game with combat. Yeah, combat is, I would say, like, give, give me the vibe. A little bit of a Souls vibe there. Mild one. Mild one. In the first game, at least. I did really enjoy it. Alright, get back to the PC and continue. Go. But yeah, Game Pass is uh, saving a lot. They also quite often give uh, like free keys, like three months to content creators. So that also is a real good value. There's still like a bunch of stuff from their catalog that I need to play, like Death Loop and everything, for example. So like again, no rush, you know, going for some big releases when you also can get like Game Pass and be loaded for a while. Of good stuff to play. So yeah, nowadays all this like hype and everything is gone, sorta. Times when you just like go to Steam, you know, check like popular releases and like, oh damn. There's a new full price AAA game. Looks good. Let's buy it. Those times are in the past now, I would say. Considering prices and everything. Now it's more like, oh, something is on sale. Now that's cool, yeah? yeah. Star Wars, the first game, was on sale. Actually, like, super fast. Holy shit, how dark it is. Didn't even realize that. But it's already dark. Well, I mean, it's not already dark, it's just like the weather is garbo. 